Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Rise and Shine Yoga. I am Ruth. I am very happy to have some returning faces, some new faces. Most of you are on video block, and that's fine. Um, if you can put yourselves on mute, it will help me be louder. Um, it's just one of the uh, technological wonders of our world. So less noise outside of the, the space, the better I sound. Um, for anyone who's new or anyone who just needs to remind themselves, this class is um, an opportunity to be gentle in your body. So I'm gonna teach a lot of asana, a lot of moves. However, some are gonna feel fabulous, like you wish you did this all day long. And some are gonna be, mm. and it's, I count on you, we are wise humans. If something feels great, go with that. If something is just not feeling right in your body, you come back. This is our base, we're gonna, my feet are, Firmly on the ground, you can rest your hands here. I'm going to make a little turn so you can see shoulders over hips. This is a very active pose. So, this will be how we begin class, how we end class, and any time in between when you need to catch your breath or a, a movement of flow isn't feeling great in your body, please come here and find your breath again. I'm gonna turn so I can see everybody. Good morning. Let's take a big breath in, maybe closing your eyes, maybe not, and feel the solid earth beneath your feet. You may have noticed I practice barefoot. Um, I like having you know, some people like taking this class with shoes. That's great. Just make sure they're comfy and no heels, please. Close through your nose, filling your lungs, expanding your chest, belly, and ribs. And exhale, feel the energy flowing out. You'll notice a little temperature change as you exhale because the air that's been in has been heated by your body. And as you're ready, we're going to slowly flutter our eyes open and then start fluttering our fingers. I'm going to show you my feet toes fluttering our toes just like little butterflies and then we're going to move into mountain pose so this is a this is a very great respite rest pose meditation level pose if you stretch your arms down then you're adding a little bit more you may notice as your fingers go down my your head goes up a little bit you're just lengthening that spine and bring any ease to the shoulders that you can. And we'll inhale shoulders up towards the ears and exhale, let them go. Inhaling shoulders up to the ears and exhale, letting them go. One more time, breath in and breath out. Before we go too much further in our practice, if by any chance you have with you or near you a little hand towel, that would be great. If you don't, maybe you have a stretchy band. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're like, oh, I've got this one more layer of shirt on. And look, this garment easily becomes a way to stretch. So we're going to do a little prop yoga today. So that was my magic trick. Ta-da! <laughs> so let's stretch down. And we're gonna start circling our shoulders. They're gonna come up, back, down, and around. And remember to breathe. I like to inhale as my shoulders come up 
and start exhaling as they come back and around. And let's go the other way. Inhale, shoulders blades come close to each other as the shoulder blades come up, forward and down, breathing, releasing into our shoulders. And then let's pick up one foot, pick up and drop it <laughs> gently. Inhale the other foot up, bring it down. I tend to stay away from left and right. We've got two sides. So we'll do one side, then the other. So um, no left and right stress for this nine o'clock crew of yogis. We're going to, I'm going to take my toes out, heels out, holding on to the chair if that helps you feel more steady. And then lift the fronts of the feet, bring them down, lift the top, the backs of the heels, lift, lift, lift. We're going to go out like this, enjoying an ankle stretch. Kind of checking in with your legs. What feels like a great stretch this morning? And every person's stretch is going to go a different width. Maybe one leg is like, woo, I'm back at the ranch. And the other's like, not today, thank you. So enjoy the difference in side to side of your body. It just means you've lived. Lift the toes, lift the heels, lift the toes, come on back. A little stomp in the feet, get that circulation started. Left foot, first foot down, second foot down. Breathe in as tall as you can, and then let the shoulders relax. With your next exhale, let's take chin to chest. This one is always a doozy. And when you're ready to inhale, we're going to look up. Find your breath here. Soften your shoulders. When it's time to exhale, let's look over to the first shoulder. Big breath in, get a little taller. And exhale, let's look over to the other shoulder. Take a big breath in. And let's exhale, looking straight ahead, releasing chin to chest. Inhale, and let's look up. Let's heel toe those feet just a little wider. As you can see, my heels kind of line up with the legs of my chair, but I'm also five foot nine. So it doesn't need to look, that is a good benchmark for me, but figure out what work feels like a nice gentle stretch and outside of your hips. Stick with that. We're going to inhale, get a little taller. Exhale, drop first ear towards its friendly shoulder, and the opposite arm comes down to add a little stretch. If this is feeling great, enjoy it. If you need a little change, drop your chin towards your chest half an inch, maybe an inch. Big breath in, and exhale, looking straight ahead. Get that height again. Pick up first foot. Let it come down gently, pick up second foot, and let it come down gently. Second ear towards its matching shoulder. Adjust as you need. This may be plenty, or you take the opposite arm down, or chin comes in just a little bit. back to center. Let's stretch those arms only shoulder height. When I say only, I know this, this will eventually in two to three breaths feel like, oh my goodness gracious. So enjoy the first couple of breaths of this and then we'll rotate palms up, palms down, palms up, palms down. Inhaling to exhale. Inhale to exhale, moving our arms into a cactus shape. So elbows even with the shoulder, palms looking forward, give those fingers a wiggle. Let's heel toe our feet back in so they're about hip width. There's definitely daylight between my feet. 
big breath in. Exhale, one arm comes down, one arm stretches up. Exhale, back to our cactus arms. Inhale, the other arm up. One up, one down, finding lots of space. And when you're ready, let's exhale here. Now, this is a gentle shoulder stretch, so we're just going to bring our palms down. And your range of motion, how much your elbows and shoulders and arms can open, is going to be very specific to your body. Just kind of enjoy the stretch. This is one of those that I really invite you to find an interesting level. And then come right back out of it. One more. Fingers um, somewhat even with the earth. And then move back to cactus. Inhale, tall. One arm to the opposite knee, the other arm to its hip. And look over that shoulder. Breathe in, tall. And when you exhale, can you bring those shoulders around just a little bit more, like you're bringing out a dish towel, a hand towel? Big breath in. And exhale, center. Let's invite those arms up for a big stretch with an inhale. Bring up one foot, circle that ankle just a little bit, and then the other way. Bring that foot down, pick up the other foot, circle that ankle. Your standing leg gets very active now, so you are strong and steady here. Bring that foot down. With your next inhale, grip, get nice and tall, opposite hand. So we're just moving to side two, hand to hip, breath in, looking over that back shoulder. And each inhale helps you lengthen your spine. And each exhale, you can invite a little bit more twist into your midsection, into your neck. Ease those shoulders a little bit. Big stretch up. A little bit more space between the feet because we're going to forward fold. Hands to knees, shoulders lengthen and stretch. Chin comes towards the chest, elbows right by the side. We're going to come down, maybe not touching our head to the ground right yet. But let's enjoy a very active stretch with shoulders pulling towards the waistband, top of head stretching, stretching forward. Gather your in-breath, press into big toe, pinky toes. Exhale, come on up. Inhale, stretch tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's heel toe those feet. Just maybe one one degree out. Inhale, tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, hands to knees, lengthening. Exhale, actively stretching forward. Engage your core. This time, you might find a little bit more space to drop a little lower. Breathing in, checking in with your back. Go in. Go to the point where you're feeling a delightful stretch. If you start feeling any pinching in your back, come right back up again to the point where it was fabulous. Roll elbows to ribs, press up. Inhale, tall. Exhale, hands to heart. If your feet can go a little wider, great. If you're as far as you need to be, that's fine too. One more. Big back stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to knees. Shoulders float forward. Chin to chest. Find your deepest forward fold of the day. Press into big toes. Press into pinky toes. Energize with an inhale. And exhale. Pressing up really pressing into the palms of your hands, waking up the backs of your arms. 
Inhale, tall, and exhale. Let's bring those feet back together. Release the hands down, roll the shoulders back, arms stretch out, big old hug in. We have a strong opening today. Maybe your heart rate's a little higher. That's all right if you need to bring it down. You remember our pose of active meditation, a little bit more active meditation, and we're going to all meet in mountain pose with our feet steady, our fingers lengthening, our helping our upper body lengthen. Big breath in. We're going to hug one knee in, just one, and point and flex that foot. If there's a balance challenge with this, opposite hand steadies you on the chair. Bring that foot down. Inhale tall. Exhale hands to heart. Inhale, let's stretch that second leg up. Press into the standing leg, stay steady. And let's point and flex that second foot. And yes, I do stretch a lot into our ankles and to our feet. They are the building blocks for how we stand and walk. And I want us to just take a little few minutes every, well, hopefully every day, but at least this morning to notice your ankles. Notice when you bring both feet down, that you can roll onto outside edge of left foot, inside edge of right foot, get a little hip stretch and wake up your ankles. And when you're walking, your ankles are doing all kinds of things. I'm showing you, a, this is my graphic, my film graphic that I made at home. <laughs> this is, you know, when you're walking on a sidewalk, it's not always flat. Sometimes it's steep. So okay, but how about those ankles? Let's go to the outside edge of this foot, inside edge of that foot. Just make sure you're doing both sides. Feel that strength. A little hip stretch and on back. Now, I talked a bit in the beginning of class about using a prop. Doesn't need to be fancy. I am very in favor of using what we have that's around the house. I was, my mom grew up in the Great Depression. My dad grew up living in Europe in World War II. You can imagine. We got, we were not wasteful people. <laughs> we learned, we kept those lessons. And I am hopefully some of you guys grew up with those values or acquired them. It's, this can be wash my face, or I'm going to hold on loosely, thumbs in, pinkies out, and enjoy an opening into my shoulders. So it's just a gentle inhale up and exhale down. Inhaling up, pulling gently at the edges of whatever you're holding on to. And one more. Inhale up. Exhale down. We're going to do a little bit of uh, hand eye coordination. So be patient with yourself. And the nice thing is, with this very special prop, if it drops, nothing hurts other than maybe your pride, but you're the only one who can tell. So enjoy this. We're going to inhale, open our arms wide. Exhale, switch hands. See, not a big deal. Opening wide, switching about midline. This is looking good, feeling like a lovely chest stretch, shoulder stretch. When this gets boring, I'm going to invite you to Close your eyes. Just a couple more like this. Inhale wide open. Exhale meeting in the middle. Inhale wide open. Exhale meeting in the middle. One more. Release everything down. Ooh, shoulders towards the ears. Let everything go. I know. Like, couldn't it just go back to washing my face? No, no, no. <laughs> the next thing we're going to do is use it under either one leg at a time. We're going to hold on outside edges, and we're going to get a little 
arm strengthening and hip stretching. So this leg, the one that's not, doesn't have anything under it, becomes your standing leg, press big toe, pinky toe, heel, make sure you are feeling strong and steady there. So when you pull up, you're just enjoying the stretch. And exhale and come up, inhale and come down. Exhale, to inhale. Now this is a lot. If you're feeling like you'd like to try something a little more intense, you can take this strap under your ankle, same leg, and kick out and back, out. But we're gonna do three more of whatever you're up to. This is our last one. Big stretch in, bring everything down, little foot stomp. Let's take a little stretch into our wrist. So press palms forward, widen those fingers. And oh, yes, we can. We can flex the tops. Let me show you my feet just a little bit more. Hold steady. This is an unscheduled break. So we're going to take our arms out and then bring our toes up. Wide fingers, wide toes, fingers down, heels up. Big breath in, exhale out. Big breath in, exhale out. Stretch, release, hands down. Side two. So underneath this leg, new standing leg, press that, put all the toes down, press the heel down, lengthen. you're noticing your core is engaged here? Yes, it is. <laughs> and again, if you feel like you need or are interested in another version, you can kick out, kick in, kick out, kick in. Either way, we're going to do three more. Up, down, arms are helping, hip is stretching. Pull up using your arms, keep those elbows close. One more big hug if you can. Take your arms around that knee. Welcome to Tuesday morning. Bring everything down, and we're going to come forward in our chair just enough that we can take our knees one way, nose the other. Big breath in, make the switch. Adding as much twist as you like. And let's come back to center. We're going to move to some standing work now. If this does not suit you, don't worry. Stay in your chair. I will teach and, sh and, uh, and um, show a different couple of other options. But it's a lot of side stretching. So as you can see, inhale tall. Ooh. That's a lot. You get a, your anchor point of your rear end really helps drive that stretch. And if you're standing, your, your legs and feet become that anchor point. So I like to remind us of a really safe sit to stand um, asana. So the movement. So we're going to, I lightly have my hands on the outside of the chair, take a big old breath in. Start moving nose over knees, pressing into feet. Slowly elevate. And then release. I'm going to change my camera angle just a bit. This is also a really nice time to take a sip of water or do a little wiggle wiggle. I will show you my favorite versions of wiggle wiggle. So wiggle wiggle can just be a little bit like this. You can do foot planted wiggle wiggle, foot up wiggle wiggle, or I guess upper body still wiggle wiggle, wiggle wiggle. Just kick a little bit. Invite a gentle movement into your body. 
having a sip of water is great, realizing that you stood up too fast and you need to stand in a still mountain for which and any other, any reason that makes sense to your heart, just settle here, notice your feet, notice your breath. do a couple of forward folds. Now in the chair, if you're still seated, these are going to be very much like how we started class. Find space. If you're standing, there's going to be hip width between your feet. If you're seated, I want daylight between your knees and ankles. We're going to breathe in. If you're standing, your feet start walking back. I better, I better do this. Walking back. Bending the knees slightly and lengthening. You're looking at the ground somewhere between your toes and the back of the chair. If you are seated, make sure that you have your hands first on your knees and maybe they can stretch towards your ankle. If you're standing, using the chair will give you a pretty terrific shoulder stretch. Bending the knees will invite some openness in the back of your leg. forward, coming up. So if you're seated, your shoulders are coming back up over your hips. If you're standing, your right foot is coming forward and you're sinking. Folks in the chair are now going to slide your right foot forward a little, left foot back. Left heel is up. This is when I do get a little lefty-righty because, well, just because. <laughs> and if you're on the other leg, no big deal. Just make sure your back heel is up, your front knee is bent, Shoulders are over hips, and that was a play with the balance move. You can keep one hand up, stretch an arm, and bring it down. This arm stays down. The other one comes up with an inhale. Bring it down. If this is feeling great, I welcome you to bring both arms up, press into those feet. Come on down. And we're going to lift our hips just a lot. <laughs> Sink on down. Now, whichever leg is forward, we're going to take its same arm, let's say right, and we're going to take our hands into a modified hitchhiker. There's no real yoga word for this, so I'm going to just make sure we have our right thumbs up. We're going to look at that right thumb, take a big breath in, and exhale. Watch that thumb. We're coming across opening up, bringing that arm as far behind us as makes sense. Release. Big breath in. Feeling that stretch in your hip and your side. And when it's time to exhale, we're going to bring that arm forward. Stretch that right hand back to the chair. Step your feet closer together. And Either if you're seated, your feet are together, and you're rolling your shoulders around. And if you're standing, you're rolling your hips around and then changing directions. We're going to continue inviting some openness into this right side. Seated, bring feet together. Left hand either holding on to the top of the chair or if you're seated at the side of the chair. We're going to inhale our, our outside arm, right arm up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale that right arm out. Exhale, bring it down. Changing things a little. Inhale that right arm up. Exhale, hips out, right arm coming over your head. Just gentle circles. Stretch that right side if you can. Bring that elbow back a little. Your next inhale is going to take your arm out, leg out. How about those apples? Toes are pretty much facing forward. If you're seated, left arm down, right arm out. And again, 
inviting a stretch to our side body. Inhale that right arm up. Exhale, deeper side stretch. Left ear comes towards the shoulder. Long arms, long legs, lots of stretch. If you're seated, make sure both of your feet are steady, big toes to pinky toes, all the way to the heels. Breath in. Exhale, let's bring everything together. Now, our outside leg, probably the right, is just going to do a little gentle stretching. So if you're seated, the left foot steady, right heel picks up and kick back and forth. If you're standing, you can do, go with this kick or a pendulum kick forward and back. Rotate side to side. Standing leg is working overtime to make sure that you get the most fabulous stretch of all time and bring that foot down, turning around. So we're going back to a forward fold. Seated people don't need to turn, down, turn around. <laughs> But standing people, let's inhale tall, relax our shoulders, taking a moment, stretching arms up overhead, and exhale, hands to the chair, release the shoulders, big breath in, and our exhale walks us back. Same idea, we forward fold, seated or standing, Maybe you want to heel toe those feet a little wider this time and just enjoy the different stretch that happens. Little neck stretch, look over to the right, bend the left knee. Okay, hip stretch, leg stretch, every kind of stretch. Big breath in, exhale to center, relax between your arms. Bending the right knee if you're standing, looking to the left, you're either which way, stretching, stretching, stretching. Bending our legs, both of those feet back together, looking forward, sliding left foot, second leg forward, back heel is up, seated people, left leg a little forward, not too much. Right heel is up, sink into those hips. We're going to invite some stretching into our shoulders. First arm up, bring it down. Inhale up, second arm, and bring it down. Maybe both arms this time, big old stretch. Reach down, inhale, reach left height. A little height into your hips, sink back into those knees. Left arm comes out, watching that thumb, big breath in, and exhale as we open, open, finding as much stretch into that neck, into that side body. Breath in, exhale, bring everything back. down, step the feet together. I just switch sides so I can, you can see a little bit of the monkey business I'm up to. Okay, so let's just reconnect feet to ground, roll the shoulders. Let's inhale that outside arm, probably your left, up to sky. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale that left arm up. Exhale, side stretch. Both hips go out, shoulders come in, and maybe you're like, oh, I look a little like a crescent or a letter C or something lovely and stretchy. Big breath in. Exhale, come on back, roll the shoulders. Let's take a breath in, capture your breath again. Let's inhale that left arm up. Exhale that left leg out. Stay in breath. 
inhale, long arm, hips go to the left, head goes towards the right, and then we're just scratching that side body. Enjoying the sensation, coming back to something that feels great or expanding to something that feels delightful as well. Take breath in, exhale, bring that left arm down, bring those feet together. Take a stomp, make room. If you're seated, right leg is steady, left knee bends and comes back and forth. If you're standing, you have a little bit more mobility, then you take a longer leg. Take your arm out for balance help. Cross front or back. And then release that foot to the ground. Reset in mountain pose if you're standing. If you're standing, <laughs> you're seated. Oh my goodness. Big breath in. Hands to heart. Release the shoulders. Roll once. Roll them the other way. We're going to do a little ankle stretching here. So turning our bellies to the chair. So if you're seated, I want you to start to stretch with hands down by your sides. If you're standing, I want hands in front. And we'll inhale, heels up. And exhale, down. If you're seated, I invite you to bring your arm, both arms up. If you're standing, one arm, both arms on the chair, or the bigger, crazier move here, knowing there'll be a wobble. Yeah, exhale down. We'll do this a few more times, finding your breath. And if, you, if you're seated, I want a little bit more movement into the arms. If you're standing, play with variations of maybe standing up a little bit. One more breath, heels off the ground. Down. Maybe here. Down. Maybe up. And then here, here we go. Seated or standing, keep you can take your arms up in a V for victory. Exhale, come down. And then all of us seated, it's going to be even more fun. Standing, we're going to bend our knees and just tap the tops of our feet for a moment. If you're seated, you might even do two feet at the same time. You don't have to, but we just want to do a little counter stretch. Lengthen. I'm going to furniture move again. Everybody is going to come back to the front of your chair if you left it. Okay. So there's my, there's my shirt. <laughs> so I'm going to review the strategy to thread the needle. Hands come down, rear end comes down. And while y'all are getting comfy, shifting a little bit side to side. Here I go. Now, threading the needle in yoga, it, there's a lot of ways to thread the needle. That's my favorite and most important one is stand to sit safety. Another one we're going to play with, inhale, arms open wide. Exhale, arm across the body. The, uh, the other arm comes in, helps you get a big shoulder stretch. And also slow your breath down. <laughs> And let your next inhale open your heart. We're going to thread the needle side two. So other arm across, other arm under, meaning at the elbows if possible. If this is not happening in your body, find a hug. Find a modification. A little lower, a little higher. Maybe one arm is plenty to get involved. Resetting the feet. <laughs> and then opening up the hearts. Another thread the needle variation. I'm gonna come forward in my chair. This is the three faces of thread the needle in chair yoga. So 
one arm, one actually this would be a leg, one leg in front of the other crossing at the ankles. Or the same leg can meet at the knee. But if it does, if this foot comes up, I invite you to please flex it. There's that stretch. And if you're just feeling pretty snappy, you can take those arms up. Noticing your right leg is on top, let's make the right arm also be on top. So here's the thread the needle. Here's that hug version. Here's a different version, back of hands together, palms of hands together. And I'm really hoping that we're all doing a little bit different variety of this. Everyone's ego is now has turned into an eagle pose. It should look different and feel like a great shoulder stretch, upper back stretch, hip stretch, ankle stretch, and ready. Inhale, take everything out, turn into a human starfish, little wiggle. As you know, if we did side one, side two's on its way. <laughs> so thread the needle, second side, left leg in front of right, long spine, you have arrived. There's no need to do anything if then you could add on. Knee over knee, maybe. Left leg on top, left arm. So here we go, thread the needle. Or hug the needle. Or move into eagle. Active on both feet. So both feet are flexed. As you're ready, we're going to open our arms wide, untangle our legs, invite a little stretch into our backs. We're going to make chin to chest round like we're doing the cat cow, but it's a little different. Inhale, open your heart, looking up towards the sky. Shoulder blades come together, gentle curve in your mid back. Exhale, rounding your mid and upper back. Inhale. And big breath, welcoming this day. Exhale, let's bring fingers to knees, chin to chest, rounding, rounding, rounding. And inhale, nice and tall. We're moving back in our chairs just a little bit, just a little bit to a resting pose. So I'm going to come just a little bit and further, just a little bit further. My back in a perfect world is going to touch the chair. Sometimes that means feet don't touch the ground. In that case, this is when yoga props come in handy or household item. You might guess by now I'm working, I'm teaching from my bedroom and look, I have a big old pillow right here. Ooh, rest my feet. Ooh, like that. <laughs> and I'm more steady on the ground. I'm going to rest my hands close to my lap, soften my shoulders. And when you are feeling steady and comfortable, let's notice our breath. Just as we started class, just as it's a nice way to finish, start a day or finish a day, settling into your breath. Maybe feeling a little ease in your shoulders, your arms, maybe your legs or hips. Just noticing if your breath is slowing down, inviting that. Mm -hmm. you're 
ready, slow and steady, we're going to leave our eyes open, wiggle our fingers and toes back into a little bit more activity. We're going to take a little step forward in our chair, but staying in the chair. We're going to take a big old breath in. Hands to heart. And let's finish class with taking our hands, our thumbs to our brain and to our, our heads. Recognizing and understanding the power of our thoughts. And to our mouths. Recognizing and understanding the power of our words. Hands to our hearts, recognizing and understanding the power of your heart. Leading your day with kindness. Welcome to Tuesday with Travande. There is a wonderful 10 o'clock talk on um, Asian history and, and New, and new year, which is the year of the rabbit. I'm very excited about that. I'm actually celebrating tomorrow with my friends. I'm hoping that my baked contribution of rabbit cupcakes turns out. <laughs> <laughs> I like to have one rabbit cupcake. Oh my God, how creative. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Take care. I'm so Thank glad you. we spent this time with this wonderful group. I, I will see you next month. Yep. Thank yeah. you so much, Ruth Russ, again. Awesome. Always awesome to have you start our day. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>